guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph and today we're setting up the monthly pages for March in my bullet journal. First, let's take a flip through my February pages so you can see the weekly setups. Again, this is an Archer and Olive A5 dot grid journal with 160 GSM paper. So a lot of these markers don't bleed through or ghost or anything. So keep that in mind before recreating any of these pages in your own journal. I hadn't set up the last weekly at the time of recording, but I did set it up since then. I was watching one of Jashi Huren's live streams on YouTube. Uh, but yeah, that brings us to our March cover page. The colors that I'm going to be using are this mid kind of true blue color with a more muted tone and these two greens which appear very similar on the camera, but one is significantly lighter than the other, as you'll see. These are Crayola Super Tips. This is the first time I'm using them in my journal. Um, I have to say that they performed really well. The paper held up. Uh, I have some minor complaints, which I'll talk about later. Uh, as you can see, I went with a Sims theme for March because lately my daughter and I have been playing The Sims 4. I grew up playing The Sims 2 and she has played that as well, but was asking for The Sims 4 for a while. I remembered playing The Sims 3 and not really liking the difference from The Sims 2 to The Sims 3, but we ended up getting a pretty good deal on The Sims 4 with the Cottage Life expansion. So I went ahead and did that and it has been really, really cute. So I'm really enjoying it. So for the font here, I just went with, uh, I found a Sims font online and tried to mimic that as best as I could. It's just a slightly messy sans serif font. You can do all capitals um, or not. I decided not to do all capitals. Um, I toyed with leaving the letters white and coloring blue in the background, but decided that that would distract from the main illustration here. So I just colored them in, in the blue. And to make the Sims icon that floats above the head, their heads, I just counted an even number of boxes from the bottom and I ended up with 32 boxes. So I drew a horizontal line at a 2 to 1 ratio at 16 boxes high uh, across, the middle, uh, across the middle. And then I went 4 boxes in on either side so that the front facet of the crystal would appear larger and make it look more proportionate. And then I added these wavy lines to kind of give it the illusion that there's light coming into or out of this crystal. It's really hard to mimic digital art with markers, so that's just kind of how I interpreted that icon. And then I used my Sakura Jelly Roll white gel pen in 05 to outline the facets, and I'm really happy with how that looks. It kind of gives it a glowing look as well. For the quote here, I obviously went with a Hamilton quote, which I then adapted to make it work with the Sims theme. I went with you are the one thing in life you can control because in the Sims you are actually controlling another digital person. But that's it for the cover page. It's pretty simple. I'm really happy with it and it's just effective. On to the most colorful spread of this setup, the calendar page. Again, I googled what the Sims calendar looks like in the game, and I took inspiration from that. I added this cute little bunny guy in the top left corner with his winter coat, since it still technically is winter for most of March. Um, this is the only place where you'll see a pink and a light blue color, just because those are the colors that he is in the game. And then I highlighted what would normally be the holidays and the events boxes. I, I highlighted them and made them goals and events, which I typically do. Also in this, I added the winter in Virginia because I'm in Virginia and that's where it usually says what season it is in the town that you live in, in The Sims. And I went with who knows because in Virginia, especially coastal Virginia, it could be 80 degrees and sunny or it can be snowing any day all the way through April. So you just really never know what the weather is going to do. And I went back to my standard five boxes wide by six boxes tall uh, for this calendar. So I'm back to my normal, I know I went smaller last month in February, but I'm back to my normal calendar size for March. I also wanna point out, 
I was bouncing all over the place in which elements of this I was working on and that is because I was literally debating with myself how I wanted the where I wanted the colors to go how I wanted to set things up did I want to fill in these bars completely you know all of that stuff Again, just the simple sans serif font. It's kind of messy for the days of the week. And across the top it says Steph's household calendar because in the game it'll say your family name's household calendar. Nowhere on this calendar does it actually say March, which is abnormal for me, but I couldn't find a place to really set it in. I guess I could have said March in Virginia instead of winter. Hindsight is 2020. of bad weather in Virginia during the late winter and early spring um I apologize in advance if you're hearing a bunch of random crashing sounds we are having a very windy day today and things are blowing against like trees and plants things are blowing against the wall of the room I'm recording in so apologies again for that and you may not even hear anything but just in case you do so one thing that I tried to do to make this tie into the game a bit is I made sure that all of the borders are rounded off for the outer edges of these windows because there are rounded edges in the game. Um, but yeah, and then of course I highlighted my day one box too far, so decided in the moment to go ahead and just color in the extra boxes rather than leaving them open and white. And you can see like I'm stretching out my hand because I'm very heavy handed. So by this point my hand was starting to hurt and you'll see once I finish this page that the lighting does change because I did take a break and came back the next morning to finish up my setup. Now, typically my setups will take me two to three hours because I have more complex drawings and, and I'm doing patterns and things like that. But in this case, I only had an hour and a half of footage, but my hand was already tired by this page. So yeah. I tried writing the numbers in in white, didn't like it, and switched over to my black Sharpie S gel pen in a .38 size. So don't feel bad if you have one idea, it doesn't work out, and then you switch in the middle of it and change it to something else. We can definitely do that. Like this, I decided that this page needed more color, so I filled in the dark green around the actual calendar, and the only part that's left uncolored is inside of these boxes and across the top border because I didn't want to use the light blue and anything else would have really clashed with the blue header that I put. That brings us to the habit tracker, which is my favorite page of this entire setup. Again, with the blue headers in the sans serif font. Um, I kind of adapted the needs and some of the aspiration icons from the game to indicate the habits that I'm tracking. Um, and then I used the 3 8 circle, I think, or maybe the 4 8 mm, 3 8 2 8 I used the circle stencil to get the perfectly rounded edges because I cannot draw a perfect circle by hand. Um, but yeah, so I adapted the hunger one for if I'm eating healthy. I adapted the fun one for my me time. 
the chat for my quality time and the sneaky sock which is hygiene in the game for my self-care um, any day that I complete one of these things that's workout the water droplet would have been a toilet but I didn't want to use that for if I was hydrated so I went with the water drop um, and then I have journaling creativity daily tidy and if I'm asleep by midnight that's what the Z's represent and each day that I do those things I will color in one of the boxes there are 30 total boxes included in those bars uh, minus the little corners that are cut off because of the rounded edges I only use 30 boxes because I don't expect to complete any one of these tasks all 31 days in March so you know we're being realistic and we are just giving me 30 boxes and hopefully they'll be pretty full and in, in the green by the end of the month I probably should have used the stencil to trace them because even tracing the lines by hand was not completely straight so the last thing I'll do on this spread well the second to last thing I'll do on this spread is I'm gonna color in these green circles and leave the icons white with the exception of the creativity icon at the bottom on the left page um, because in the game they are white icons against a green background so I just made I didn't want to do the whole thing in green because that would have been entirely too much time so I just did the circles uh, but the creativity icon has rainbow stars all around the lightning bulb lightning bulb wow the light bulb and so I just took a bunch of random rainbow colors from my pens and made a bunch of little stars in rainbow colors again you won't see those colors anywhere else in this setup but I just felt like it was too important to not include the rainbow stars for the creativity icon Yeah, the overall setup time again was only about an hour and a half which is why this video is shorter than most of my other videos uh, because it took me way less time to set up these pages um, than it typically does for me to set up a monthly setup and then I didn't like the border being so thin so I decided to thicken it up to give it more of an illusion of being filled in and you will see me repeat that with the brain dump page as well so moving on to my next page I went with aspirations instead of intentions this is my level 10 life intentions page I will write down little miniature goals towards my level 10 life areas um, in order to improve them and I just did another sims icon here for that very similar to the main page the cover page and then on the right hand side I did a line a day where I will write what I did towards those goals each day One thing I will say that I struggled with with the Crayola Super Tips is that the pointier bit when you were trying to use that didn't really have a straight edge. So I found myself trying to smooth out edges quite a lot with it um, and I don't have that problem with the bullet end of a Tombow Dual Brush Pin. The only other issue I had with them was wherever you leave off with it there's like a little collection of color of ink which can absorb and can cause bleeding in 
any kind of lower weight paper than probably an Archer and Olive notebook. So if you're using Corella Super Tips, which they're a great affordable option, there's a lot of great colors in there. They're very vibrant and true. Um, but yeah, they are going to bleed through. You can always offset that by using washi tape or gluing pages together in your journal if it's like a 100 GSM or something. But, um, but yeah, that was something that I took into consideration for my sister's journal, uh, which is a 120 GSM. These do cause some bleeding if you go over something even twice. So you have to be extremely careful. And then again with the brain dump, I just did the thicker border, the Sims icon, and my header. And then this is my affirmations page where I will write down affirmations about anxiety or mental health or self-worth, you know, anything I feel like writing down for the day. But that's it. That brings us to the end. We'll do a final flip through. I appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Uh, let me know in the comments if you ever played The Sims, which aspiration you typically went towards or gravitated towards, or any differences if you've played any of the newer versions. Uh, don't forget if you enjoyed this video to like and if you aren't already, go ahead and subscribe so you'll be notified when I have other videos come out. Uh, but yeah, that is it. I appreciate you guys being here. I hope you have a great one and I will see you next time.